Hey guys, Mason Ramon here, and today, welcome to another Kaiju figure review. Now today, I'm going to do another Godzilla re review. I'm sorry, I keep stuttering here. And here he is. Oh, I'm okay. Uh, he's kind of big. Can I back him up? Mm. Oh my god. Uh, hang on, let's try something else. This is even higher, it's... Jesus Christ! Nope, I'm getting there though, I just need a little bit more. Okay, I think this is high enough. Is this high enough for you? Okay, well... Oh, let's get into the review. So, this is the... Bayonet Creation 12-inch Kiryu figure. And, I gotta say, I'm quite impressed with this guy. Um... He's big, and he's in a battle pose. He's a robot, but oh well. He is a robot, after all. He is a robot. But, anyways, let's get on with the detail. It might be kind of hard, because he's quite big. So, let me just kind of focus on him real quick. There we go. So, detail on this guy is quite nice. It's really nice. As you can see, he's very shiny, made out of silver. The face on him is... Oh, fuck, I thought I was going to fall down. I'm sorry. The face on him, he looks, it looks really nice. The inside of the mouth is quite detailed, too. Uh, if you can see that, there we go. Neck is very nicely detailed, you know. It actually looks like Kiryu. It does. It, it looks really nice. The only thing, the only problem is the tail. It's a little short. It's too short. It's probably because they probably had to make it fit in the box. Or they could have added an extra articulation point to make it curl upwards. Yeah, but it's not really a big problem. It's only a, a minor. That's, that's about it. It's just a minor problem with this guy. Let me just get that back. Okay. Oh, uh-oh. The thing was about to fall down. I'm sorry about that. Anyways. Moving on to the the paint job with this guy. Moving on with the paint job. Anyways, you know, um, I mean, you know, he's he's obviously silver. He's got some black highlights on him. Well, not highlights. He's got black parts all over his body because that's what it's supposed to. It's like all of the wiring and shit. His eyes. Bring that up. His eyes are a yellowish color. His eyes are a yellow. And he's got like red arrows on his body. Like this one down on his bicep. And I think he's got more arrows on his legs. Yep, he's got more arrows on uh, just right below his knees on his legs. So yeah, the paint job is really accurate too. Yeah, paint job's pretty accurate as well. Um... Oh, that's the that's also my problem. His tail falls off. It's just mine. The one thing that they didn't get is these wirings on his tail. They didn't borrow the paint those. I don't know why, but it's I don't know why they didn't do that. They didn't even bother to paint the, these wirings on his tail. So maybe if I got some black paint at the store, maybe I'll paint it. Who knows? Oh my God, the fucking tail keeps popping off. I'm sorry about that. Anyways, with, with that being said, let's move on to articulation. He's got five points. First, head. You can't rotate 360 because it's really tight. And this spine right here actually hits the shoulder blade, whatever the hell it is. It hits it up there. Yeah, what else? The tail keeps falling down. So you can pretty much only turn it, not even 180 degrees, but that's okay. It's It's okay. The arms, rotate 360, like that. His Also, his waist rotates just a little bit. It's pretty tight, but, it, yeah, not even 90 degrees. And finally, the last point is his tail. Let me just pop back in. You can rotate that 360, but mine likes to pop out. It wasn't like this when I got it. I don't know how, I don't know why it does that. So, yes, that is articulation. Five points. 
kind of limited, but it's cool. Moving on to size comparisons. Yeah, there's only one thing to size him up with. And he's right here. Um, Godzilla from Godzilla Final Wars. So yeah, it's... He's big, so it's not really fittable. Okay, so... How rare is this guy, you're probably asking me. Well, he's pretty rare now. This figure is, because this came out in, like, 2007, I think. But, um... Yeah, he's pretty rare, so if you find him, consider yourself lucky, I guess. Now, given the grade of him, I'm gonna give him a... A... Four and a half out of five. Four and a half because, you know... Uh, the paint job, they did a bit of a little error for the tail. It's pretty much the tail that's the error that lowers the grade. And the articulation, it, the articulation is cool, but it's a little limited. But oh well. So yeah, 4 out of 5. Pretty good grade, though. And yeah, that's about it. So hope you guys enjoy this, and I'll see you guys later.